We're going to start off with a photo of what comes in a typical bar tape package. You get two rolls of tape, uh, one for each bar, two short pieces of tape to go underneath the uh, hoods, two bar plugs, and two pieces of adhesive tape. Roll up the base of the shifter cover and remove all of the old bar tape. Then take one of the small pieces of the new tape and wrap it around behind the bar. Now unroll one roll of your tape and place it against the bar. Leave about a quarter of an inch overhanging the bar and wrap it around on top of itself. On the second wind, go ahead and just overlap half the width of the tape and continue that way up the bar. Now you'll notice on these bars they're not on a bicycle. We took them off just for clarity on the uh, videotape. You do not have to remove your bars from the bike to do this. Okay, we're coming up to the uh, the shifter now, and this is the uh, trickiest part of the whole thing. All you're going to do is make a figure eight around the shifter, and that will cover all of the gaps in the tape, uh, provided you have the little three-inch piece uh, that we put on earlier. Once you get back to the top of the bar, you continue just like you were before, uh, overlapping only about half the width of the tape just continue in that manner all the way uh, down the bar until you're at your stopping place. Uh, it's a good idea to have your adhesive tape ready so when you get to this point you can just pick it up. I usually stick it to the other side of the bar so it's ready. Take a pair of scissors and uh, cut off any excess tape and hold it in place. Don't let it unwind on you. Then grab your uh, your tape to finish it with, wrap it around, and it's going to stay in place. Now the only thing left to do is to uh, get your bar in plug, fold that excess tape over, and force the plug in and have it push the excess tape inside the bar, and that'll hold that in nice and tight. It's looking good. Then you come back and go to the uh, to the shifter cover and roll it back down over the tape and you'll have a good looking uh, set of handlebars or at least one half of it now you just need to do the same thing on the other side